pena gurra emateko, pena dunik hartzen, hainbeste jende ikusi eta hasi beharnik partitzen, ardi kampua ditut hemen, txuri txuriak ikusten, Agurra irako maita garria, urren gurtia naizen itzultzen. He was going back, and it was as hard for the others to realize as it was for him. They had lived so long in America that the old country had become a dimming dream in which little things stood out and the rest was blurred, but beautifully, because it was of memory. They had become so used to the uncertain images of letters that they could not comprehend that soon he was to see with his own eyes that he was to walk in the villages of their youth and talk with their people of yesterday. Now was the time for rekindled hopes of going home in those who were still able and a time of sadness for those who could not. Now was the time when women went to their rooms and looked again at nearly forgotten pictures of home and wept quiet tears, and lonely men lay on their beds and longed for the voices of their childhood. In the days that remained, my father visited with his countrymen and took their commissions. There were notes of greetings scrawled laboriously on bits of paper by men who had not written a letter since they came, because they were afraid of such things as post offices, and the formal demands of correct address. There were the private letters of women in beautiful old country script, and there were pictures of sons and daughters born in America who looked like any other American sons and daughters. And there were newspaper clippings telling of the deaths of a husband or wife, and what they had done in America, and the fact that they had been natives of France or Spain, and underlined in pencil the names of the villages of their birth in the Pyrenees all of which my father would have to interpret for the people in the old country because it was in English. for the summer and back down to desert pastures for the winter. And as more people moved to this area and wondered what was going on, we decided, well, let's invite them out, let's tell them, and let's have a party, let's have a weekend festival and celebrate this event. So what this is about is about stories, and it's about, it's about our history, and it's about the people who not only um, raised sheep and herd them, but also the people of this valley who have been here for many, many years and become familiar with a life that was very important to this area long before it was a resort area. There was, in fact, a time this was second only to Sydney, Australia, and the number of sheep that were moved in and out of this region. So there's quite a history here, and that's what we're celebrating this weekend. <laughs>
a youngster with my mom, and um, we came to New York, and Dad had some Basque friends there that gave Mom a, bas a basket full of food and some money to put her on a train to come to Pocatello, Idaho. So when we arrived in Pocatello, my dad was there to meet us at the train station. He, uh, she thought he was rich, he had a car, but he didn't have a house, so she, you know, she didn't really know that he wasn't rich. So we lived in a boarding house in Mackey, Idaho for a while. My dad was a sheep foreman on the Drake Ranch in Chalice, Idaho. It takes about a couple of years to get a dog to this uh, stage of training anyway. Like I say, she walks every single day. And you'll notice how, how quiet she is. There's no barking or biting. And the natural instinct of these dogs is to keep the sheep to you. So you notice that if I go to my right, she'll automatically go to her right and keep these sheep to me. And she'll stop right on balance there watching the lead sheep, no, noticing that which, whichever way they're going to break, she will watch them. She's watching them all the time. Doesn't take her eye off them. And so, always people tell me there's three lots of control here. There's control of your dog, control of the sheep, and control of yourself. <laughs> and uh, so, because things don't always go as calmly as they are at the moment.
Renotik etorri unarako, neskaz hasi naiz dantzatzeko, zurekin dantzatu nahi de gero, arrazakan biatzeko. I came to Reno, uh, I came from Reno, Nevada, to dance with a Polish girl. Let's the two of us improve the breed.
John and Diane for making this such a, such a success. Every year it is better, better and better. And we are getting uh, people from all over the uh, United States to come here to see the trailing of the sheep, to find out about the sheep. You know, it's a, it, it, it is the world's oldest profession. They say it's a second, but I think it's the world's oldest. <laughs> <laughs> May the woolies in your pasture multiply each year tenfold. May the mirror in your sheep can never show you're getting old. When your bed's down for the evening, may your dreams be dreams of wealth. And when you rolls out in the morning, may your day be one of health. Salute. This is my last goodbye, and with sorrow. I have to go long ways, but I, after I have seen my dear old sheep camps, I feel better, so goodbye Idaho, maybe until next year. <laughs>